How does the graph of a pair of linear equations look? Let's take two equations. First, x plus y equals 4 and second, x minus y equals 2. In the previous video, we'd plotted the graph of the first equation. Now let's plot the graph of the second one on the same plane. Let's see what we get. We make a similar table on the left for the second equation and get three pairs of values for x and y. We assume three random values for x and get appropriate values for y. The three, the three pairs of values we get are negative 1 comma negative 3, 0 comma negative 2 and 1 comma negative 1. Plotting these points and joining them, we get another straight line for the second equation. This line represents the equation x minus y equals 2. And the previous one represents x plus y equals 4. Now look at this graph and tell me what all can you deduce? Let's talk about the things we discussed in the previous video. The graphs of linear equations are always straight lines. Next, every point that lies on this line will be a solution for the equation x plus y equals 4. And every point that lies on this line will be a solution for the equation x minus y equals 2. For instance, 4 comma 2 will be a solution for the equation x minus y equals 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. And what about the points that lie on neither of the lines? Easy, they will not be the solutions for either of them. Is there anything else you can see in this graph? Anything interesting? Look at the point where both lines intersect. What can you tell me about this point? Yes, this point lies on both the lines. And what does that imply? It implies that this point is the solution to both the equations. The point 3, 1 is the solution to both the equations. You can even try it out mathematically. 3 plus 1 is 4 and 3 minus 1 is 2. Both equations are satisfied. So plotting graphs of pairs of linear equations also gives us the solution. This pair of linear equations has exactly one solution which is why it's called a consistent pair of linear equations. Will any pair of linear equations always have just one solution? Can they have two solutions? Can they have no solutions? Or can they have infinite solutions? All the answers in the next video.